to study tonight. And if we turn to 634, please, 634, the Messianic King. This is all scripture, and I will go ahead and read the light parts, and you read the bold parts, and let me go ahead and open in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the privilege to close out our day in fellowship centered on your holy word, and also with music and rejoicing, and even a time of prayer as well. We praise you and thank you for this privilege and this opportunity, and we love you, Lord. Help us to love you more than anything else in this whole world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so here we go. I will read the light parts and you read the dark parts. This is reading number 634. Hear now the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. There will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past he humbled the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honor Galilee of the Gentiles by the way of the sea along the Jordan. The people of God will be our hearts, and great light, and those who are living in the land of the shadow of death, a light that is gone. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as men rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day that the enemies speak, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders. The rod of their hair upsets. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For on the rest of the child of the Lord, the rest of the son of the day, and of the government be on his shoulders, and he will be called upon the wonderful counselor, my mighty God, everlasting Father, the prince of peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, and establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The seal of the Lord will accomplish those promises. Amen. And you notice this is all from one particular passage of Scripture, Isaiah chapter 9, the first seven verses. Well, right now, as we always do, we are going to have a hymn sing. And I did ask, as an opening hymn, if we could have the God of Abram's praise. That is in the, the book, is it not? <laughs> Pardon me? 34. 34. Thank you, Kirsty. Where would I be with you? I'll tell you what, Kirsty. Can you come on up here since you're in the choir? And you could go ahead and lead everybody since, since Michael is away and uh, so also no, is yes, now. Do this is not for you. Yes, here. Yes, here. Yes.
you, Father. 575, Eternal Father, strong to save. Okay, 
so much, Kirsty, for leading us, and thank you all, and uh, make sure you come back next week to bring your favorite hymns.